Amen. 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 Thank God for a solid rock. Yes. Thank God that in times like these, we can have an anchor. Amen. We'll continue our service by singing 294, hymn 294. That anchor became useful for us and personal because at a point in time, we heard about this wonderful year of Jubilee. Yeah. And we made a, took advantage of it. And glory to God, we have the testimony to say, yes, our anchor is sure. Amen. Blow ye the trumpet blow, the gladly solemn sound. Let all the nations know to earth's remotest bound, the year of Jubilee is come. Amen. We'll take verses 1 and 4 verses 1 and 4, and um, we'll continue with our singing. We say a very hearty welcome to all our newcomers and those who are here for the very first time, and also those who are watching on the webcast. This is the Apostolic Faith Church, our Bexley branch at uh, 13 Pennell Road, DA 53EP. You are very much welcome to come and join us, should you have the chance. Blow ye the trumpet blow. Six seven will be our next song. Two six seven CGS. Redemption. Oh, wonderful story. Glad message for you and for me that Jesus had purchased our pardon and paid all the debt on the tree. Amen. <clears throat> We're going to take verse one, everybody. Verse two, our females will take that. Verse three, all the males, and then verse four. All of us again. Redemption, oh wonderful story. Redemption, oh wonderful story. Glad message for you and for me. That Jesus has purchased a pardon and paid all the debt on the tree. Relive it, oh sin, I believe it. Receive the glad message is true. Us now in the crucified Savior, salvation he offers to you. From death unto life he has brought us and made us by grace sons of God. I found is open for sinners Oh, wash and be cleansed in the blood Believe it, oh sinner, believe it Receive the glad message is true Trust now in the crucified Savior Salvation he offers to you Verse 3 No longer shall sin have dominion Though pressed and to tempt and annoy, for Christ in his blessed redemption, the power of sin shall destroy. Believe it, oh sinner, believe it. Receive 
the glad message is true. Trust now in the crucified Savior. Salvation he offers to you. Verse 4. Accept now God's offer of mercy to Jesus so hasten today. He will he will receive him that cometh and never will turn him away. Believe it all sin or believe it. Receive the glad message is true. Trust now in the crucified Savior. Salvation he offers to you. Okay, I must say that was a fair try. You know when you've been used to something for years and it has become second nature? It's not quite easy to change. All right, our next song will be In Christ Alone. In Christ alone. <clears throat> In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my life, my strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid ground. Firm to the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fields are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ, I stand in Christ alone. He took on flesh. Fullness of God is enough. Let's be this gift of love and righteousness. Scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on the cross, as Jesus died, the robe of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the that firm foundation. Amen. Our song before prayer will be, and can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Died he for me who caused his pain? For me who him to death pursued? Amazing love. May God help us appreciate redemption's love this morning. Take verse 4, standing up for prayer. And can it be that I should gain an interest in my Savior's blood? Died in your name, who caused his pain, caused his pain. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Oh, wonderful is your name. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Thank you, Jesus, for you are God, for you are our Father, for in Christ alone our trust is in thee. Our hope is in thee. Our all is in thee. Our tomorrow is in thee. Come down and bless us, Lord. Come down and fill us with your spirit. Come down and answer all our prayers. All the outstanding prayers. All the nagging problems. All the ones we have lost hope in. Lord, we bring them before thee. We lay them at the altar, Lord. Believing and trusting that we serve a living God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a God that has ears to hear. We serve a God that has eyes to see. Lord, be moved by compassion, Lord. Be moved by your sympathizing. Lord, come down and answer. Come down and hear our prayers. Diverse our needs, diverse our situation. Some are going through troubles of sickness. Some are going through financial difficulties. Some are going through unruly children. Some are going through joblessness. Lord, we cannot enumerate all of them, but we know our hearts an open book before thee. Come down and answer. Come down and hear our prayers. Oh, Lord, we put all before thee. Bless the preacher this morning. Send us home rejoicing, for we praise all in Jesus' mighty name. Bible reading for this morning service is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 4, and we'll be reading from verse 16 to verse 21. Luke, chapter 4, 
from verse 16 to verse 21. 16. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esaias. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears.
like to read from the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, just the passage that Jesus Christ himself quoted in the gospel that we have just read. This is where he quoted from, the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, reading from verse 1 through to 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, Amen. the oil of joy for mourning, Amen. the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, Amen. that they might be called trees of righteousness, Amen. the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Amen. It is indeed a happy jubilee. Amen. When brokenhearted is banded up, when captives are liberated, when those in prison are freed, those that are mourning are comforted, those that are so um, disheartened, Jesus decides to give them beauty, and then those that are wearing the spirit of heaviness, he gives them garment of praise, the spirit of um, the, the praise, the, the, the something to praise God for, garment of praise in their life. I think all these calls for jubilation. Yes. We studied that this morning, and that stuck to my spirit throughout the week. Perhaps is the same thing with you, okay. especially when Jesus Christ declared that this day. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's a great difference between the year has come and praise God for the year. And it's a different thing when it is this day. Amen. I claim that for myself. Amen. That this day, Amen. it is the prayer of my heart that it will not just be fulfilled in your ears alone, but also in your heart. Amen. When Jesus read this, um, he was actually proclaiming jubilee. If we um, see in the, um, the book of Leviticus 25, 9, it says that, Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound throughout all your land to proclaim, Year of release Amen. has come. Amen. And this is what I see as the jubilee trumpet. Amen. It's blowing. Amen. And I want to pray that the Lord will help you and I Amen. to hear that trumpet today. Amen. For them, just as we learned together in our Sunday school, for them, you can just imagine when they will hear that trumpet, the way they were looking forward for it. I heard the teacher giving different scenarios this morning in terms of things that people will be in, and then you're looking forward to that time when the trumpet for the jubilee will blow, and then you say, hallelujah. I am free. Yes. Everything is now okay. Yes. Praise God for that. Yes. And this passage of the scripture to me is like a jubilee trumpet. Yes. Yes. Amen. Telling you and I that we can be free. Yes. We can have total freedom. Yes. And that is true. It's for us too to really know that. Whatever your situation, whether you are broken hearted as a result of sin, it is my prayer that you will be humbled Amen. by the Spirit of God Amen. to the extent that you will submit to God Amen. and by the grace of God, what he said that he will do to the broken hearted, he will do to you Amen. in Jesus' name by binding that up. Whatever that situation is, some are bound by guilt and condemnation. I want to encourage you to hear the trumpet today. Yes. Healing is here. Yes. Jesus will heal you of that broken heart. Amen. If we confess our sins, the Bible tells us it's faithful yes. and just 
Oh, that is the trumpet. Amen. If we confess our sins, it's faithful and just to forgive us yes. and to cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Amen. Well, many responded to this trumpet call during Jesus' earthly ministry. And some of us will possibly remember someone like Zacchaeus. He responded that there was a noise going on. Jesus is passing by. I want to see Jesus. Uh, that, that, that is like a trumpet blowing, saying, Zacchaeus, you can be free from this condemnation and guilt that you've been carrying about. And because he listened, he took action. Jesus Christ told him, this day, Amen. today, Amen. salvation Amen. will come into your house. Amen. And that happened to him. Yes. May that happen to you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. How about the thief on the cross? Helpless, hopeless there. Just who knows how many minutes or hours to go before he appears in eternity. And the trumpet was blowing all around. People were hearing different things, but I believe this man was hearing the trumpet of jubilee. As I'm hanging helplessly here, I can be free. I, I, can, have, I can have peace in my heart, even though I know I'm going to die. But I can die in peace. Amen. In that agony, he turned to Jesus. Amen. Will you please remember me? Amen. And Jesus Christ remembered him. Amen. Today. Amen. Not tomorrow, but today. Amen. In paradise, Amen. you will see me there. I will be there. Many and thousands of people responded like that, that have broken heart, and the Lord healed them all. Amen. It is my prayer that as they all submitted to God for that healing to take place, that God will help you and I Amen. to submit to God today. Amen. Well, God can do this for anyone. He can turn things around. He can make something that is ugly. He can make it beautiful. Yes. He can turn things around. It doesn't matter how deep one has gone insane, how far the enemy has ruined or cheated anyone, if you plead for mercy today, Jesus will change it for good. Amen. That reminds me of my testimony. I was nothing until he found me. Amen. I was dead in trespasses and sins, worked according to the lust of this world, to, to, to my own thinking and the way I see things. That's the way I was carrying about guilt and condemnation, had no hope under the control of the enemy. In short, my life was ruined, falling apart, broken in pieces. I had a bleak future. I've had my testimony many times before. I, I was raised up by parents that were so poor to the extent that they could not send me to secondary school. They couldn't afford it. My hope in life was bleak. Nothing was to come my way other than just to live and, you know, carry pipes here and there and um, wrenches here and there, traveling from one place to the other, learning how to become a plumber, uh, a professional plumber, just, just expecting death will come one day, no hope for this poor boy, no, no shoe, nothing, just walking barefooted all over the place, long distances. If you don't walk fast, the, 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 the ground that is burning, you will be affecting you so much. I remember that very well. I was nothing. But out of that nothingness, God brought out something. I know what I'm talking about when we talk about jubilee, when we talk about freedom, when we talk about liberty, when we talk about release. We can be released from whatever is bounding us, from whatever is troubling us. Jesus is able he can do it for me, he will do it for you too. He brought me out of the miry clay, my song. He made my life beautiful, put the pieces of my life together. He now made me to become a fellow citizen of heaven with the saints of God. He gave me hope. I praise God for that. Are you in captivity, in prison, in bound? The trumpet is blowing. Liberty. Liberty. Opening of the prison. When it says that Christ proclaims vengeance, a time of 
vengeance is here. It is, it's a vengeance on sin. Vengeance on the devil. Vengeance on the power of darkness. That's why we say that you don't need to worry yourself. Jesus is able. When he proclaims vengeance, it means that I'm going to do it. I will do it for you. You cannot conquer sin on your own. You cannot conquer Satan on your own. You cannot conquer the flesh on your own. But I can do it for you. All those things that are troubling you and then you try today, you fail. You try tomorrow, you fail. You promise yourself you fail. I have come to give vengeance. I have come to fight that battle for you. I have come to liberate you. Did he not do it before? You remember Mary Magdalene? The word of God tells us that Mary Magdalene, that first lady that Jesus Christ appeared to after his resurrection, he was bound by seven devils. And Jesus liberated her. And she continued to follow Jesus. You remember the gathering demoniac? His own was legion, uncountable. What is that thing that has imprisoned you? The year of Jubilee. Amen. You know, when we are talking about the year, the devil can be telling some people it's just September, October is coming, November is coming, as if he's the one that has all those uh, timetables in his hand. He doesn't have that timetable. And that's why I love what Jesus Christ declared when he said, this day. Amen. So we don't need to postpone. You need to look into your life. I need to look into my life and say, this day, yes. this day, Amen. this scripture of the year of Jubilee Amen. must be fulfilled in my life. Amen. The legion can come out of you. Amen. It's yours morning. The comforter has come. Amen. Whatever the depth of your soul or sorrow, your money is so great that, as they used to do in the olden days, lay in ashes. Jesus will raise you up. Amen. You know, he will remove that sad countenance. Amen. Have you seen some people, it's just difficult for them to smile. Hmm. They are going through tough times that the, the smile is just not there. And when they want to even do one, they can give you what they call a plastic smiling. <laughs> just quickly. <laughs> and then they close those, they open the teeth and then close the teeth back. It's not from inside. Jesus Christ said the oil of joy. Before we, left, before we left him this morning, I don't know what Stella saw on my face. Have you rubbed your face? And I said, look very well. Maybe it has become dry. I, I, I usually rub my face with um, oil. But that's not the oil we're talking about. No. We're talking of the one of the spirit. Yeah. The one that people will see and they will say, I want to serve your God. Amen. Oh, you are serving a wonderful God. With all that you are going through, you can still be smiling, and the smiling can be seen so genuine. I want to serve your God. That's what Jesus is able to do. That disfigured countenance that you've been carrying about you to mourning is now promising you oil of gladness. That oil of gladness will give you a lovely spiritual face. That oil of gladness will give you a cheerful countenance. It will replace your sorrow with joy. We are saying this day. This day. When we are celebrating and talking and learning about the year of Jubilee, the Lord will release you. The Lord will answer your prayers. Again, has he done that before? Do you remember the case of that widow of nine? Had only one son. That son died, and he was, she was wailing. They carried that only one son to go and be buried, and that would be the end. And Jesus Christ, who is never late, came right yes. at the point. Just as they were leaving the city, coming outside into the gate, Jesus Christ appeared. What is all this weeping about? The only son of this widow in that coffin. And that will be the end. As far as this woman, woman's case is concerned, Jesus Christ looked at her. Weep not. Amen. You don't need to keep on weeping because I have come. Amen. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Amen. 
because he has anointed me. He has made me to come and do this. It is God that sent me to come and do it. So weep not. That which has taken these, your son captive, his name is death. But I have the power Amen. over death. Amen. And he raised him up. Amen. Can you imagine the joy of that widow? Can you imagine the joy of that woman? Jesus Christ can do that for you and I. Yes. We, we, we are not talking of carrying any dead person or any dead uh, 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 members of our family as you're talking about. But how about those things that are dead in our lives? That God himself will let you know. That you know. You know yours, I know mine. But we can say this day. Today. As we, are as we are all studying about Jubilee, which is true, we can say, my day of liberation, my day of joy, my day of release, in the name of Jesus, indeed it has come, even if yours was buried already, like the case of Lazarus. When they even sent for him, he said, I, 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 he didn't come on time, as we would say, he didn't come on time based on our own time. He came on time based on his own time. And he does come, he does, he does things at his own time. However, this was buried. Not day one, not day two, day three, day four, already rotten. It's just because we are breathing now. Once that breath, we do that last... <sighs> This body becomes something else. They told Jesus when Jesus eventually appeared, ah, 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 forget that. Jesus, it is too late. Don't even think about it. For four days, the whole thing is thinking. Now, we cannot even go there. And each time I read that passage of the scripture, it occurs to me that they were the one who declared the case hopeless. They were the one who rolled the stone and said, it's finished. It's dead. His own is, that, that's the end of it. Jesus Christ had the power to roll away that stone. Oh, yes. But he said, no. Roll away the stone yourself. Yes. You are the one who rolled it there in the first place. Go and roll it away. Go and roll the stone away. I want you to do it yourself. When God is telling you and I to do something, may God give us the grace. Amen. May God give us the understanding. Amen. Many times some people question God and say, but why can't he not do, why can't he do it this way or that way? No, no, no. He does things in his own way. The way he likes, when he likes, how he likes, you know, so that his name will be glorified. Yeah. Roll away the stone. Four days dead. And he stood there. I, I, I haven't praised his father in heaven. I have power over death. That's what he was, he knows that. And he was able to say, death, wherever you are, holding Lazarus, I want you to release him now. Amen. Lazarus, come forth. Amen. A dead person heard. The ears of the dead opened. We are talking of hope for the hopeless. We are talking of a day of release from bondage. Maybe, you've, maybe the enemy has been telling you that as far as that case, whatever that case is, is concerned, is finished. They have declared the result. The, the, you have heard the verdict. Jesus Christ is telling you and I today that I can reverse it. Amen. For good. Amen. Jesus Christ raised up Lazarus. Imagine Miriam and Martha when Lazarus came forth. Just imagine. Just figure it out. The, the level of joy and happiness that they will have. To have their brother back again, the one that they have buried and they thought everything is finished, God can do that for you and I. Yes. Where God gives the oil of joy, he also gives the garment of praise. Yes. And the spirit of heaviness, hopelessness, fearfulness will disappear. Yes. Remember the case of the lame man at the beautiful gate? Lame man at the beautiful gate. You expect everything at the beautiful gate to be beautiful. But in this case, here is a lame man looking at people every time, if it is one penny. 
if it is one pound, if it is 20p that you can give me, but on this wonderful day, Amen. on that faithful day. Amen. And he was looking forward to, oh, this one that are coming, perhaps I've not been seeing them around there for some time. Maybe the way they dress, maybe the way they comport themselves. Ah, he looked at them differently. I should be able to get something. Maybe not all, not all those um, one one shekel, one one shekel. This one we bring out about 20 or 30 or 50 or 10 shekel. And then this one we give me. Peter and John, we have nothing. But we have something greater. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. This that has bound you for so many years. Stand up. Amen. Be healed. Amen. We are our children. They, when they are talking about these, um, 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 some of these um, lame people that Jesus healed, they be saying he started walking, leaping, and jumping and praising God. That's what this man did. Mm -hmm. Immediately he was healed. He didn't leave. The Bible tells us that he followed them into the temple. Mm -hmm. And guess what he was doing in the temple? He was just jumping about. He was just jumping about. He was just jumping about. Just jumping about. Why? His situation has changed. Amen. That lame man that has been there for years is now a healed person. Amen. Jesus can do that for you yes. today. Amen. Jesus can do that for me too. Amen. He can give us joy. He can give us happiness. He can give us the garment of praise. And that day has come. Amen. When he will do all this for his people. He will cure our wounds. He will release them that are in bondage. He will comfort those that are in sorrows. And for one reason, so that they may be called the trees of righteousness. The trumpet is blowing. He will make something beautiful out of my life, out of your life. He will cause you to rejoice on this very day. I want to encourage you to stop living a life of defeat. Enough is enough. Amen. As we are all just crying to God and saying, God, today, do it for me. You know, there is a passage in the Bible, even when some of these slaves are released to go, and they say they are free, they say no. The book of Exodus. <laughs> Exodus 21. Exodus 21, from verse 1. Exodus 21. Now these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh year, in the seventh, he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her daughters shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, may we not love the devil. Amen. May we not love the one that is holding us captive. I love my master, my wife, and my children. I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. While some people are accepting deliverance, some people decided, no, I don't want to be delivered. And God is not going to force you. Can you imagine that? You are free to go. Free of charge. Everything. Go now and be living a life above sin. I will give you that power, that's Jesus, so that we not serve sin again. You will not serve that thing that has uh, uh, held you bound 
You cannot get yourself loose, but now go. You can be free. And you say, no. That thing that is holding me captive, I want to be bound to it. A servant saying, I don't want to go. May that not be your lot. As we study this lesson today, I don't know what is coming tomorrow. I don't know what will happen to me even after now. Neither do I think you know yours. But it is important that you and I say today, right now, I don't want to serve this master again. Especially when it is being declared that you can be free. You can be released. You can have your life back. You can be normal. And you said, I want to keep on living abnormal life. May God deliver us. Amen. It's unfortunate that some people are like this today. They want to remain in their stubbornness, in whatever the enemy has put in their lives, instead for them to just say, God, I'm sorry. Have mercy upon my soul. I, I let go. I let go. Just deliver me. But if you are not ready to submit, just as we have read, you know our young people, while preparing for one of their youth camps, some of them will remember this, and I, I will never forget. They sent message to all of us, those are the years or days when I used to go with them every year. And that information got to me too, that um, as they are coming for this youth camp, bring all the broken cartons, the broken uh, paper, the broken, everything that is broken, anything that is now a refuse, bring that with you. And I was thinking, what are these young people after all this? And some people pack uh, uh, the, the packet of Kellogg's, the packet, no Kellogg's, no, no, no Rice Krispies inside. No, nothing inside. We pack different things, uh, you know. And we go to the youth camp, and they, the, one of the activities, they divided the young people into different groups. And they first of all collected all these broken things, everything put them together. Then they mixed them together. Then they divided themselves into groups. Then for each group, they just pack certain things, give to them. Certain broken things, give to this group, give to that group. Then they, they, were, they, they have got, they have prepared uh, glue, scissors, anything to cut anything, anything to glue anything, they give to each group. And then they say, from these broken things that have been given to you, go and make something out of it. And I remember the fantastic, beautiful object. I think it only needs to have petrol for some things that some people make for the things to, to move. The aeroplane was made. Many other things were created. Homes that you want to say, if this one will be five million pounds to buy, from something that was useless, they were able to make something beautiful. You know, that is what Jesus can do for you and I. Our broken life, our shattered life, our life that is already like, is, is of no use. Jesus has the glue. Jesus has the scissors. Jesus has the best thing in his heart that he wants to do, to put all these broken pieces together. You know those broken pieces that we took to the youth camp? They were meant for the rubbish bin. They were just to be chucked away. But from there, that's what the enemy wants to do with us. But God is saying, bring them to me. Bring them to me, and I will release you. I will make sure that those pieces are put together. So the point is if we let him. For if we don't let him, nothing will happen. But I pray that today you will let him. Amen. The spirit of willingness, the spirit to surrender, the Lord is going to give to you today. Amen. You know, this is what the gospel is all about. Yeah. There is nothing better than this. It is the best news ever that you can be free without paying anything. Amen. For it has already been paid for many, many years ago. Yeah. The blood of Jesus. Calvary, the stream still flowing, paid for everything. The sovereign of Jesus paid for everything. And yet, you are still saying, not now. Ah, don't let today pass over your head. Do it today. 
Jesus Christ is blowing the trumpet. Amen. You know, in that passage that we read, where Jesus stood up and read, and they all heard, and Jesus told them, this day, this is fulfilled in your ears, in the church. You know what they said afterwards? Is this not the carpenter's son? May you not do that today. Amen. The Bible tells us that they were filled with wrath. I've been to that location in Israel, the Mount of Precipice, where they said they took Jesus and they just want to kill him. Just throw him like that, headlong. Uh -uh. By telling you that I've come to release you. By telling them that your day of release, your year of freedom, this is what the, the Lord God Almighty has sent me to come and do by telling you that may we not be bound Amen. to the extent that we are so blind, we don't even understand anything again, that we are even scorning, we are even putting aside that which the Lord has sent for our good. These people were blind. They did not see anything other than carpenter's son. What was he talking about? The spirit of the Lord. Which spirit of the Lord anointed you? Which anointing? May we not do that today. Amen. Unfortunately, they missed the point. May we not miss that Amen. point. May we take advantage today Amen. and say, Jesus, I want to be released. Is enough is enough. Yeah. I want freedom. Yeah. The trumpet of salvation is blowing. Yeah. The trumpet of sanctification is blowing. Amen. The trumpet of deliverance from diseases the trumpet of deliverance from all those things that uh, the enemy uh, 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 is using to rob us of our peace. Will you hear that jubilee trumpet and say this day the Lord will answer your prayers. Amen. The altars are open. You are invited to come and pray as we sing the voice of love and mercy. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this year, this time of jubilee. <clears throat> A time, oh God, when you have brought, brought us back. Brought everything back for us. All that we had lost. All that we had sold. Even ourselves as well. Oh, we who have sold ourselves for naught. You bought us back with your blood. With that atonement you made on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> As the children are gathered around your altars of prayer this morning. Oh, Holy One. The great deliverer. Amen. Deliver. Amen. Great deliverer. Amen. Deliver. Amen. Fill, O oh Lord. Amen. Save, O oh God. Amen. Sanctify. Amen. <laughs>
filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give victory. Amen. Lord, <clears throat> those things that have been abiding, those things, oh God, that have been challenging, <clears throat> that have been even saying, where is your God? Oh, Holy God, this afternoon, Amen. prove yourself, Lord. Amen. The great deliverer, Amen. deliver. Amen. Great deliverer, Amen. deliver. Amen. Great deliverer, Amen. deliver. Amen. Great ransom one, great ransomer. Amen. You who ransomed each and every one, Amen. you paid the debt. Amen. You have paid the debt. Amen. You have paid the debt. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let us all go from this place today with great rejoicing, knowing that you have heard and answered our prayer. For in Jesus' name we pray.